Hey all you viewers, the name later, how we doing today? I know, Big Box by CRKT, right? Today we're going to be taking a look at the RJM and, oh god, Ut, Ushidi, Ushidi? Uh, I'm not even going to try anymore, but still, <laughs> there's the name, okay? So before we get too much further into this, as you guys know, I love to do with CRKT, they always include some propaganda for a blade or something they want you to take a look at. Today it's the kiss. Alright, so... Come here. <laughs> yeah. Here's the blade. Yep, we're going to take a look at a fixed blade today, all right? I saw this one, and I went, I wonder if that paracord wrap is comfortable. Because as you can see, it's gutted. And I figured this might be a good backup blade on a combat belt or um, a chest rig, or maybe even carrying as a little bit more easily concealable, like I'll show you with the sheath in a moment. I'm kind of on the fence on this one. Honestly, the whole time I've had it, I can see some uses, but it's not going to jump right to the head of my gotta carry list. All right, so let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do. All right. Now, Ryan Johnson designed this one, so hence the RJM who did Ukishi, what up? RJM name. <laughs> It's got an overall length of 7.75 inches. The blade is 3.50 with a cutting edge of 3.50 and the handle is a flat 4 inches. Now it has a minor weight to it of 3.20 ounces. So carrying a fixed blade that weighs about as much as a folder was kind of cool. Now they say it's done in the Warncliffe style and I found that on a couple different um, big name knife pages but it doesn't really look a lot of Warncliffe to me. That's just me. That's just way too, I don't know, massively pronounced. I'm used to a Warncliffe being more, you know, like a choppy in the front, but that's me. It's got a plain edge with a hollow grind. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Black stonewash finish, and I really like how that looks. Hopefully you can catch some of that. I do like how that looks. The blade steel is 8CR13MOV. Not a huge super steel. It's a good budget steel. It will keep an edge for a bit. You're going to get used to sharpening your blade. But isn't that part of the fun of owning a blade is getting that quality time on a stone and hearing that satisfying... I don't know. To me, the blade across the stone is a great sound. Now, like I said, it's got black gutted paracord for a wrap on the handle. You know, it, it feels okay in the hand. It hasn't really caused any hot spots or any problem. I do like the little bit of jimping they have here for, you know, just quick up-close work. Now, I do like the fact they called it a Kydex sheath, okay? They gave it a pretty good drainage hole. And one of the biggest reasons I thought this might be interesting is the um, little loop here. They also, by the way, give you a spare one. It really reminded me of, like, the tops cut. I reviewed that as well, so take a look right up here. You're going to see a card for every piece of gear review we've ever done. The Topps Cup cut is sitting in there, and that just reminded me of it. The ease of attaching it to your belt or attaching it via different points if you have to. you got a multifunction sheath. And in case you're curious, yes, this is made in China. All right, now let's get to the cut tests that we usually love to do here on the channel. If you're brand new to my channel, we usually only do three. Seriously, they're real simple ones. First up, heavy-duty stock paper. Okay, let's see if we can get a curly cue. Yeah. Okay. Fourth, uh, fifth time is not the charm, but still. <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of paper flakes on there, so it could just be the paper, could be how I'm holding it. Oh, look, there we go. We got a little bit. All right, next up, paracord. Now, let's just go with a simple pull test. Oh, yeah, that took a lot. That was a lot more pulling than I thought I should have had to do. Let's go with the slice test. Okay, didn't feel like it would have, but all right. And our friend who's coming to the end of his usefulness here on the channel, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Nope. Let's try that again. 
Yep. So, might be how I'm holding it. Ow. As I smack the camera. <laughs> I don't know, but still. I'm not really going to call that a fail. Could be any number of things, but still. It's still cut. Not as much as I'd like, but it's still cut. It did pick up some ratchet strap and some paracord fuzzies. Oh, yeah. That's a... Wow. Right there. Huh. Yeah, this blade's got to be touched up. Because seriously, about right here, it feels really dull until... God, that's weird. Okay, sharp, sharp, sharp. Dull, 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 dull. Okay, now we're getting a little sharp. Wow. Okay. So, I did the homework and all the other, you know, background checking on this thing on October 14th, 2020. That's where the prices are current as of. I'm filming this video October 21st, 2020. So, I found her on Amazon, CRKT, and Blade HQ. Over on Amazon, it's going to earn you $50.95, and it is Prime eligible. On CRKT, it's $69.99, and Blade HQ, it's $44.95. It has yet to be reviewed on CRKT or Blade HQ. Over on Amazon, it's got 16 reviews for a 3.8 out of 5 star rating. But, with that being said, you guys know we're at the part of the channel that, <coughs> I should say, part of the video that I love the most. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. Do you think she's a nice or an F-bomb? You know, a nice or an F-bomb? I'm kind of on the fence on it. I still am. That just shocks me that it felt like, okay, flat, 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 flat. Yeah, I, wow. But that's just me. Hmm. All right. So, a few first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know we've got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose this video. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, why don't you let me know why not? Leave me a comment right down below in the comment section. Let's see what we can do to get that rectified. You know, it's kind of like my job. Give you a good quality video. Hopefully, I get a subscription out of it. You know, it's a win-win for everybody, right? Okay, so after you guys have done all that fun stuff, take a look right down here in this corner. You're going to see a big channel symbol pop it up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please, if you so choose, destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Well, that's a great question. Because by doing that, you're going to enable YouTube to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much... Two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. The CRKT Udishi? Udishi? I, I'm done. Thanks so much for watching my weird tabletop review. And like I'm saying in all my videos, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a safe day. And we'll see you in the next video.